How are you feeling? <laughs> yeah. This is how all the vlogs are beginning so far, you know that? Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> shit. Everything's shit right now. Welcome, to, welcome back to Michigan. Welcome. Everything, everything's shit right now. Boaz, what are you doing with Chewbacca? Oh, that's not Chewbacca. Who is it? Daddy. That's Solo. Okay. Are you guys getting ready to go to school? Yeah. What grade are you in? Second. Where's your alfalfa? Uh, she put it in my crib. Oh, I liked it. It was very no, nice. No, I didn't. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're wearing my clip. Yeah. Yeah. She's been wearing it. Very nice. Booyah. I got her a, a hair clip. Show, show, show your hair clip. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you, Uncle Matt. Duty free. Thank God for the duty free. Ah, suburban America. <laughs> this is where I normally run. I'd run up, do a big loop around the block. Give me a cup. Do you need a hand? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Better not be running. Oh, it's running. running. It's running. Oh, yeah. Ah. Ah. This is stupid. Take care of your lower back, kids. Why oh, did you boil the inside of my truck? <laughs> nice, right? I spent two hours yesterday detailing your <laughs> dashboard. It's phase one. Phase two is vacuuming. <laughs> but I didn't have any American currency on me enough to pay for the vacuum cleaner. Get out! That wasn't so bad. So Andrew's gonna be in his appointment for a few few hours. It's gonna give me some time to get some work done on the vlog and maybe do some things on the computer. Ooh, it's nice and warm in these hospitals. Sometimes a Chinese skimp on the uh, on the AC. Man, look at this hallway. Oh, I just sat down and worked for a while. Nice open space, quiet, clean. Where are we going to eat? Pancake house. The original, the original right? Pancake the original house. pancake house. The original pancake house is like luxury dining for breakfast. Right. They have some. Uh, was that your jacket or your back? I'm not sure which one. I, <laughs> I just heard some crum 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 oh crumpling. God, kind of crumpling. It wasn't even crunching. Yeah, it was crumpling. Well, that was my spirit. You heard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. He's in so much pain, we figured spoil him with some good solid breakfast. We're driving past St. John's Hospital. I was born in St. John's. I came into this world right there. Now the claim to fame here is the, uh, the thing called the Big German. But I, I'm not in the mood for a Big German. And you got to be in the mood for a Big German. So instead, um, I'm just, the, everything here is fantastic. So like if you get eggs, they're extra be they're extra amazing. Any pancakes are extra amazing. I'm gonna get a uh, ham and cheese omelet with a uh, side of pancakes. So we will enjoy those. And then uh, Andrew's getting the eggs, Michael. type of guy that likes my pancakes so soggy with uh, syrup that it's almost impossible to pick them up with a fork. That's the, the way, that's the way, you like that? I like it crispy, just a tiny little Oh bit no syrup. man, I'll, I'll, soggy, soggy. More syrup than pancake. Syrup than pancake yeah. Now the omelet itself is, it's got a little, it's got height. I think they put yeast in the, in the eggs. So good. And the smell, Swiss cheddar. and cheddar. How are you feeling? Better? Much better. 
Welcome. I'm talking about a full belly. Right? <laughs> Still not great though. Still Look at great. your arms. You're, you look I'm, like I'm, you're doing a, a, a I'm supporting a the dip. weight so that it doesn't compress <laughs> my spine. You're a mess. I'm a fucking mess. All right, let's get out of here. There's a few things that I'd like to do while I'm here that don't uh, necessarily pertain directly to my dad. Hopefully, I'll be here for quite some time because I want my dad to be in this earth as long as possible. For those of you that enjoy my Reef Tank series, uh, Matt's Reef Tank, there is a guy that inspired me to start Matt's Reef Tank. His name is Than, and he has a channel called Tidal Gardens, and he's in Ohio. It's about a three-hour drive from here. And uh, I talked to him, explained that I'm going to be in town for a while, and uh, he invited me to uh, come and spend uh, the day and, and possibly uh, two days at, uh, at his place. He breeds corals, and it's quite an amazing channel. If you want to see some beautiful video of corals, you check out Dan at uh, Tidal Gardens. The other thing is uh, I have a ton of old high 8 videos uh, from childhood. Uh, I've copied a few of them, but, but there's a whole bunch more that are sitting in my dad's attic. And I'm going to take this period as an opportunity to gather all of those together and copy those into digital form. And that way I have them forever. Um, they've been sitting in the attic. Hopefully they still uh, are, are okay. I mean, years and years and years of hot and cold and hot and cold could have ruined the tapes. But beyond that, I need to find a, a, a player. It's like finding an old VCR, but for a very special, they're high eight tapes, so the tapes are a little bit smaller than normal. And there's not a lot of high eight players in the market, so I'm, I'm trying to find an old camcorder that somebody might have. Anyway, that's my mission. I'm, I'm, I'm stopping at pawn shops and secondhand stores and trying to see if somebody has some old used old used camcorder among other things is uh i'd like to go and uh, maybe go to chicago once or twice i got a an old high school buddy that's there um and uh might be talking about him or later anyways trying to use my time somewhat wisely while i'm here while also helping out my dad and being around for him this is my home my hometown my home home I grew up here. I grew up here as my dad being the owner of this house. He just kind of struck me with a reality check. He says, you know, he's showing me around this place and and hey, he man. says, hey. this might be, you know, this this is probably going to be my last summer. Yeah. And the, and the simple fact of the matter is, I know where I'm going. Yeah. And I'm so at peace. Yeah. I mean, I'm just totally at peace. Uh, it is what it is, and so we're going with it from there. Last year, I, I had an old Ford tractor, and it was beautiful. It was a beautiful tractor, but I was having some problems with it. It was actually about 15 years old. So when I took it into the shop, and they couldn't get it fixed simply, uh, we decided to go another route. And mm. as a result, this door looks kind of like a drunken sailor <laughs> built it, doesn't it? You know, look at that. Oh, wow. Why is it on an angle? It's the purpose? Yeah, it's absolutely because uh, before I built this structure, I had something else here and it flowed with the ground. So oh, okay. it's about four inches lower over there than it is over here. Uh, so you can see. Yeah, yeah, it's right, odd. Right here. But, but, it, but, it, but it, when it hits the ground, it's equal. But check that out. Yeah. Ain't that a beautiful thing? Now this thing here is just incredible. Front end loader. I can move mountains of snow yeah. in short order. Anyhow, I got this tractor and my wife thought she was doing me a really good thing to buy me a tractor, <laughs> but then she was kicking herself because after the tractor got here, I had to build something for it to be on. And she thinks I killed myself last year <laughs> building this, which <laughs> Maybe I did, but it did cause pancreatic cancer. I'm yeah. sorry, Sam. So, so yeah, yeah. Uh, we're sort of taking inventory of life right yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, Weird. And I, yeah. So that's back here, and I just built this. And I, I'm not going to have the, any more time to enjoy it. <laughs> uh, what a shame. But you know, 
you know, that's life. I was looking forward more to developing it. And I have my Christmas trees and Christmas decoration up here yeah. for, for next year. And I have tables up over here. Yeah, but all this stuff pales in comparison to what's in your, in your shop. Yeah. You know. oh, let's, let's go talk about the shop. Last fall, I was on out here and I collect things on the curb. Yeah, I know. On, on trash day. Yeah. So I, I go on out on trash day and I pick things up and especially in the wintertime, I don't have anywhere to put them. My dad always said a family that picks together, sticks, sticks together. together. Yeah. Check out this Rubbermaid cart here. Wow, right? that thing is huge. Free. <laughs> Free in the trash. Guy's gonna come and give me a hundred bucks for it. I, I had to do a little work on the wheels because they put a little time in. Just put a little bit of elbow grease. Yeah, it's, I have an arm that comes off of here, and I can invert it so it hangs down or so it hangs up, and yeah. then then you can work on the bike. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Fastened to here, right here. Yeah. I'll be messy, and then I have to clean it up. Yeah. Right now I'm messy. Yeah, it and, ain't that uh, messy though. Since, since I've been in the hospital with my other problems my other situations i haven't spent as much time out here a few years ago i had the, i had these routers and uh they're all in drawers and matt says to me he says dad why don't you just hang them from the ceiling oh, i come up with some good ideas sometimes matt has a lot of good ideas <laughs> this is a copper bird bath oh the copper bird bath somebody threw in the garbage and i actually broke it so i'm just going to resolder that to it this is a convection oven right here. Brand new, never been used. And I think I- Otis Spunkmeyer cookies. It's yeah. a cookie oven. What's the problem with it? No problem? Nothing. Nothing. Where'd you find it? In the trash. Where? Like, was it in front of a store? Or was no, it, it was in front somebody's of somebody's house? house? Yeah. I don't know if anything has to do with the, the area that we live in, but very often we find some really amazing things that people just discard. Mm -hmm. In China, they will run things into the ground. Right. By the time they're garbage, they're garbage, you know? Yeah. But here, yeah. it's some of the garbage is not so quite garbage. This is a, I think I saw it for $437 wow. on eBay. I always prided myself on my dad's St. Clair Shores collection of tools. Okay. Now, he has a tool for every job. Yeah, and now then if you some. Come up, such a collection. Okay, so you we spend our whole lives collecting. We're having some very hard conversations. And I am I am like solidly numb to this whole circumstance. It's it's crazy. My dad is too. We're both kind of very one day I'm just gonna implode. The reality of this whole thing is gonna set in. That's been a kind of a big hobby for you, eh? These yeah. candles? Is that wax? This is my wax cart. Actually, I want to use the rest of this wax up. Let's make some nice candles. We will. We will. You know? Those are colors. And those are scents. And these are scents. Here. Let's see. Um, M mint and uh, smell this. cherry. Oof. Cinnamon. Red hot Red cinnamon. hot cinnamon. Oh, I love that. It's like a red hot. Like a red hot. Yeah. Like a red hot candy. This is a fold down uh, scroller saw. Yeah. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. And on the other side, I have a fold down cross cut saw. Huh. Yeah, she just makes me nervous. Why? This Sandy with the timing. Annie does that to me all the time. I'll make a decision. I'll, I'll, I'll say something, I'll make a choice. Yeah. But I won't have the full knowledge of what I'm supposed to be doing. Right. And she'll be like, why did you say that? We have to do this thing, the ding, ding. Right, right, right. Eva, I had lots of time. And she's like, well, what are you smoking? Yeah. <laughs> it's no time for that. So. This is new. I've never, this router table. I this, don't remember yeah. that. Wow, that's heavy. Do I mean, these are, these are heavy in the, yeah. each one of those. And look how, you know, yeah, yeah. fingertip. Yeah. And then I have, you know, all the way down, it's just, yeah. and it's organized, and I love it. When did you build this? 45 years. Yeah. I've been in the house for 45 years. Bought my last house first. So listen, Matt, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to move gonna, the car. I'm going to change my clothes. Give me the key. Uh, did you, they're they're actually inside. in the okay. truck. We're going to take the car, right? Yeah. We are shifting gears here, and now we are going to go to the hospital. And, uh, whew. 
and see some of the treatment options for dad. Once we understand what my dad's gonna have to go through with regards to treatment, then we'll know what we're looking at for the next foreseeable future. If chemo is an option and my dad wants to go that route, he'll make that decision soon after, after discussions. Whether he sticks with the chemo or decides to uh, change uh, his path or decides that it's too, too painful or his quality of life drops too low, then we'll find out and move forward from there. If I do this and you don't like it, then we're done. I'm not gonna sit there and force you to do it. But knowing that without doing anything, pancreatic cancer, like, it, it's very, it's a very aggressive disease and it takes people very quickly. Yeah. So with all the chemotherapy agents I'm gonna describe, the common themes are they lower your blood counts, okay? So that we, uh, the reason why chemotherapy works is it goes after the fast growing cells. Your white blood cells, which help fight infection, okay? your hemoglobin, okay, the red cells, which help carry oxygen, your platelets, which help clot blood. So you're at increased risk for infection, you're at increased risk for anemia, and you're at increased risk for bleeding. So it's an every two week course, but it takes three to three-ish days every two weeks. Chances are he's not gonna be feeling good. So one week out of two, he's not gonna feel well. Correct. Right. That is correct. Right. Yep. Okay. okay. When you say, I won't be feeling well. So nausea, Mm -hmm. Vomiting, diarrhea is big, so people have terrible time with diarrhea. Right now in the hospital, I have uh, three, five patients with pancreatic cancer that are admitted right now. And out of them, I would say three are due to what I did, and then the other two are just due to their actual disease. This is, a, this is something that's very difficult to navigate through because of the cancer is bad, and then the chemotherapy is also bad in terms of the side effects with it. Mouth sores you can have, hair thinning, hair loss, um, rash, uh, it can affect your kidney and liver function as well. Okay, so you'll need to get blood work for me every week. So if you were to do nothing, um, so if you, are you asking me like what to expect or your life, like what? what yeah. How will you feel, right? Yeah. Is that what yeah, you're yeah. If I so, did nothing. So if you did nothing, then um, what would happen is eventually you'll start noticing that your appetite and energy level will slowly dissipate. Mm -hmm. And the reason that happens is because as the cancer grows, it secretes certain hormones to itself that allow it to grow because it starts stealing everything away. And people don't feel hungry. And um, the reason they don't is that's because of the, the cancer effect on the body. So you lose weight, tremendous amount of weight, even more than you've lost. Pain is another thing that I worry about because of the location. And, uh, people complain of severe nausea, vomiting, mm -hmm. um, and they have diarrhea because the pancreas is what, uh, the organ in the body that helps with digestion. <clears throat> you know, we don't want to do the chemotherapy, which I mean, I'm inclined for him to do it, but this is him, so I respect everything that you want to do. The, the timing of all of this, I, I mean, it needs to be sooner rather than later because right. things can go down quickly. Right. It's hard for me okay to tell you what to do like i told you in the hospital people with this cancer they do well until they don't do well exactly. and at that time it's very difficult to do anything yeah. and, and the patients don't want to do anything they're like listen i feel terrible like i don't want to come in and see the doctor i don't right. want to do this and then at that time we just we just recommend people um, have hospice come to the home right. to help you know with pain control and help with all those other uh, types yeah, of you know, activities you know, you know I, I like how you're talking that mm. yeah, i'm good with all this um at the point in time, I start not feeling well. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of a time frame are we normally talking? Once you get to that point, mm -hmm. uh, is it, you know, two or three months? Okay. Yep. Okay. It's not like if someone's concern is their ability to tolerate it or their um, yeah. concern is toxicity, then I lower the dose. Yeah. And I say, okay, how did you do? I did okay. Mm -hmm. You know, then I stay or maybe I increase it. Because remember, the three tenants. So giving you quality of life, yeah. not making you miserable so you're in the hospital every other week. That's not right. my goal. That's not your yeah. goal. Mm -hmm. The goal is to keep you on this earth as long as we can. Right. It's just that damn cancer doesn't really respond to chemotherapy that well. About 20, 20 to 30% of the time it works. Yeah. 
So, yeah, 30 so 20 to 30 percent. You can do, go through all of this, and you're just saying the effect is 20 to 30 percent. Yeah. I mean, right now I feel fine. Mm -hmm. I know this isn't going to last long. You know, in a perfect world, you could say, Lord, how long is it going to mm -hmm. last? And, you know, give me some answers. Um, um, this has a cumulative effect. So you might start off with a treatment or and two. And feel good. And feel okay. Um, the further you go, the worse you're going to feel. Yes, because it has a cumulative effect. My concern is that you already have neuropathy, you already have severe spinal stenosis, you already have balance issues, right? Mm -hmm. So how does that play with the weakness that you will have from the chemo? And how, I guess, how do you want to spend your day? Mm -hmm. Those are just some thoughts. This yeah. is your decision. Mm -hmm. If they give me three more months, if they give me six more months, uh, you know, I'd, li I'd like to have this be a decent summer. I'd like it to be as decent a summer as I could have, and I'm okay with that. You know, for me, the hardest thing is leaving you guys behind and the sadness. But I I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna have to go through a whole bunch of shitty sufferings to have, to get into next summer and see what we can make of it. I, and I'd rather have this last summer be a good summer and enjoy it the best we can. There's a lot to be said for knowing the time is short and making the most of it, rather than always fighting for another uh, few days. Let's, you know, get another treatment, we'll get, maybe we'll get another month or so at the end of it. So what, what are we saying? Nothing? This is I'm not saying anything. I say think about it. Still continue. Well, and, and absolutely, yeah. and especially if, if we're leaning towards nothing right now, you know, thinking about it isn't costing a dime, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but if you're going to do it, you probably should do it sooner. Mm -hmm. Right, because right. of the window of opportunity yeah. that they were talking about. I, you know, I got to say that I think I'm leaning towards just, just making this the best summer we can make. I think I, I think that's my choice. I was feeling that way when he was talking. Were you? Yeah. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Let's just put some rose-colored glasses on. What's the best case scenario if he does the chemo? I mean, what's the best case scenario? Well, which He's chemo still are you talking about? Well, let's just say the one he recommended, you know, the four. Like he goes through that. The the count of whatever the cancer cells are going down. You're going to have uh, diarrhea regardless, I guess. That's what it sounds like. You're going to have you feeling like shit regardless like for a period of time, whatever that period is going to... What would the period be if he, it was the best? would be like four days every two weeks? Three Maybe days of treatment five. and probably a couple of days. One to two days of feeling crappy after. You know, I'm, I'm just, you know, you got to look at, like, you also got to look at it if it's... So less than 50% of the time you would feel okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we could call it good, but you would feel okay. And it could open you up double double your time. Mm -hmm. For me, um, the way we've been proceeding here, um, knowing, you know, having the feeling that I could plan on a nice Memorial Day, nice Fourth of July. I like that better than let's see how many, you know, more Labor Days we can get you, and having it be a fight for the rest of my life. You know, the fighting takes a lot of energy. I'm at peace. I, I'd rather be at peace. I, it's not, it's not you know what I see you do? Having a five-year barbecue. Mm -hmm. Everybody's there. Yeah. We Hell yeah. The best Absolutely. time. Yeah. It, it, that's what's most important. And you know, if we can I'm manage your pain like, like you've been going now, I mean, to, you're a lot better than you were a month ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, you yeah. right. You know what I mean? Like, your quality of life right now is much improved. Yeah. I, I have been enjoying this time so much because I know, I know, we're at the end of the road this. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to fight to make that road longer and longer and constantly be in a fight. Okay. So I'm choosing to do nothing. 
Okay. That's what I'm going to choose. Okay. So the question is now, who, which doctor do you want following you for this? I'm here, and I'm more than happy to see you. Okay. My scheduling isn't as flexible, but I can do whatever I can to see you. And then we also have people, you're not at that point yet, but we also have people, um, hospice doctors who come to the house, like with nurses and stuff like that to help. The one thing I'll leave, okay, with you today is when you're on vacation, okay? We're not gonna go. You're not gonna go, okay. No. Even if you stay at home, I've had this conversation with people and I get a call a week later being, you know what, I don't know, can I change my mind? My door, I'm gonna give you my card. Even if you just wanna talk to me, mm -hmm. What like what what can I expect? What's going on? Call me. Yeah. I'll I'll walk with you through this. Here you go. Want to give this in? Give it to her. Okay. Please. All right. You guys have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Two more weeks. Yes, ma'am. Sounds like a plan. Okay. My boy. The D. Fast forward a little bit. We are in the uh, are defined theater. By the things we share. Decided to. And the ones we love. Something that we can do as a family and Our relax and not be too stressful. Our tea times. We're going to watch Black Panther. The moment. Good movie? Hey, Matt. Good movie. Were you awake through the whole thing? I was awake through. 80%? Uh, 50 50%. 50%. <laughs> and it was still a good movie, so that's yeah. saying a lot. Yeah. <laughs>